Hello Rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this old Union Pacific Elko PA-1 locomotive. And this is a slightly updated build for this locomotive type, as I had to make it a few blocks longer than the last Elko PA we did in order to fit the lettering on the side where it needed to be. But I actually think it looks more like the real thing with this slightly extended length here. So this is what it looks like. Now let's get right into it. So as usual, we're gonna start off with the rear coupler, so take out a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it, we're gonna put a sideways dark oak fence gate here. And then on the bottom, on the next block forward, three sideways fence gates like this in the middle. On top of this, we're gonna do two rows of three black stone brick block on the center. Then on the bottom one, put a deep slate brick stair on either side facing outward, and above it, put a mangrove stair on each side facing outward. Then come back here, and we're going to open a birch fence gate here and here, and then on this top middle, put three dark oak trap doors in the center. Now come on bottom in front of this, and we're going to put another right wheel on each rail, right in front of this. In the middle, a stone brick top slab. Then in front of this, we're going to do five stone brick stairs facing forward, then five stone brick slaps on bottom. Then we're gonna do five stairs facing this way. In front of this, another set of netherite wheels on each rail and a top slab in the middle. Then five stone brick stairs going this way again. Then five stone brick bottom slabs. Turn around, five stairs going this way again. In front of this, another set of netherite wheels on each rail and a stone brick top slab in the middle. And then we're gonna put a birch fence gate on the front of these two wheels here. Then we're gonna go through and put a hopper on the side of all six netherite wheels. Then we're gonna crouch here and put a skeleton skull on the side of all three hoppers. Then repeat on this side. So get a skeleton skull on the side of all three hoppers over here as well. Then we're gonna come right here, put a skeleton skull on this stair and a birch fence gate. Then a skull here and a fence gate here. Then repeat on this side. So skeleton skull here, fence gate here, then one here and a fence gate right here. Then we're gonna come up top with black stone brick block and do a line right down the top middle. And actually we need to stop when we're aligned with these front birch fence gates and put a full row of fence gates on the side here and a full row of fence gates on this side over here as well. Now come in front of this on the bottom and we're gonna go five wide of deep slate brick top slabs on the bottom here. In front of that, we're gonna go to cyan terracotta and we're gonna do a five by five of cyan terracotta. In front of this, three in the middle. Then we're gonna put a deep slate brick stair here facing outward and one here. In front of that, we're gonna do another five by five of cyan terracotta. So five wide, five long. Then in front of this, five deep slate brick top slabs. Then we're gonna come up here and add another deep slate brick stair on top here, and one here. Then come back here with cyan terracotta on this second layer, and we're gonna fill this whole top in five wide right here. Then we'll add three in here, and then in front of it, fill this whole section in five wide to the front of this, over the top of these slabs here. In front of this, put a fence gate of birch on each rail. Then in front of this on bottom, another right wheel on each rail. Then a stone brick top slab in the middle. Then five stone brick stairs facing forward. Then five stone brick bottom slabs. Then turn around and five stairs facing the other way. In front of this, another set of netherite wheels and a top slab in the middle. In front of this, five forward facing stone brick stairs again, then five bottom slabs. Turn around and five stairs going this way again. Then come in front of this and put another wheel on each rail with a top slab in the middle. Put a birch fence gate on the front of these two wheels. Then same as before, go through and put a hopper on the side of all six of these netherite wheels. 
Then we're gonna crouch, and we're gonna put a skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And repeat on the other side, put a skeleton skull on each hopper over here. Then we're gonna come on this stair here, put a skeleton skull here, and a fence gate here, then repeat right here. Then do it on the other side, so skeleton skull here, fence gate here, and then same thing right here as well. Then come on bottom, right in front of these fence gates, and we're gonna do two rows of five cyan terracotta, two tall. Then three on the top middle, and on this top corner, a mangrove slab here, and a mangrove top slab here. In front of this in the middle, two rows of three cyan terracotta, three mangrove top slabs on the top middle. Then we'll do the front couplers to take out a dark oak stair and stack it up to this middle second block. Under it, we're gonna put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we're gonna open a birch fence gate above each rail, a dark oak fence gate open above each of those, then a sideways fence gate here and here. Then on this corner, two gray stained glass panes on either side, and then a red stained glass pane on each top corner, like this. Then come behind here on this second layer and do a line of black stone brick block down the middle of this truck here. And then we're gonna add a row of birch fence gates across here. And then also a row of birch fence gates across this side, right here. Now we're gonna come stand up here and crouch, and we're gonna put a single stone brick slab on top of all six of these hoppers. Then on the spaces between them, we're gonna put three iron trap doors here and three here. Then repeat on this side, so three trap doors here and three here. Then we're gonna have to repeat that for the other truck. So come down to the back, come up here and crouch, put a single stone brick slab on top of all six of these hoppers. And then on the spaces between the slabs here, three iron trap doors here, and three here. Then same thing on this side, three here, and three right here. Then we're gonna take out mangrove buttons, and right here on this back corner, put two buttons here, and two here. Then we're gonna come up on this third layer here, and we're gonna start at one end with our polished blackstone brick blocks. And we're gonna go three wide on this top middle, and we're gonna bring it all the way across the top to the front of the locomotive here. Just like that. Then we're gonna come where this stair is on the middle, and we're gonna put a single mangrove stair right here above this one, and then one on this side right here. Then in front of it, a full row of mangrove top slabs all the way across to the front here. And same thing on this side, a full row of mangrove top slabs here. Repeat behind it, so a full row of mangrove slabs on top here, all the way down to the end. And then same thing here, a full row of mangrove top slabs all the way across here. And then we're gonna come back up front, and actually where this gap under here is, we're gonna add another mangrove slab right here to fill in that gap, and same thing right here. Now come on this top front middle here and do a three by three of yellow concrete. On the side of it, we're gonna do a column of three yellow stained glass paints here, and three on this side. Behind this, on this bottom outer edge, we're gonna do eight yellow concrete coming back, and then make that three blocks tall, so it's a three by eight. And we will, of course, repeat on this side, so come over here, and same thing, do it eight long and three tall yellow concrete on this side as well. Then behind this on bottom, we're gonna put two upside down bamboo stairs here in a column, and two here. On top of each side, put a bamboo door. Then behind that, put a column of four yellow concrete on either side. Then on either side of this door, we're gonna do a column of four iron bars. Like that. And same thing here, so four iron bars on either side of this door as well. Then we're gonna come up on this front middle and across here. We're gonna do three wide 
and pour along with yellow concrete right here. Then up here, a yellow stained glass pane in the middle and two black stained glass panes on either side. Then three green carpet here, three on this side, three on the front middle. And actually, I think we're gonna change this three by three in between the carpet here into a three by three of green wool to make it match. On top of that, let's do a three by three of ward trap doors. And I guess one on this front middle to give it some three dimensionality. Then behind this, we're gonna put two black stained glass blocks here, yellow concrete, two black stained glass blocks, and finally three black stained glass panes for the side window here, and three here, like that. Now we're gonna come down to the rear end here, place a bamboo door on this middle, and a two by two of yellow concrete on either side. Then above it, two rows of five yellow concrete. Then around this door, two black stone brick walls on either side and three across the top. Then we're gonna come on this bottom outer edge in front of this here, and we're gonna start filling this whole side in three blocks tall with yellow concrete and bring that forward. And we're gonna bring it up and stop right behind where this mangrove stair is here. And repeat on this side, so right behind this mangrove stair, just fill this whole side in three blocks tall with our yellow concrete and bring it down all the way to the back here. Then we're going to come down here and put an upside down bamboo stair here and one here and then a bamboo door on top of each one. And then across here we're just going to fill this whole gap in three blocks tall with yellow concrete until it's all filled in on the side here. And repeat on this side, fill this whole gap in, all with yellow concrete as well, until it's all filled in. Next, we're going to come up on this top front corner here, on either side, and put two bamboo top slabs. Then skip a block back in a single yellow concrete. In this gap, put a forward facing upside down bamboo stair on either side, like that. Then behind this, we're going to do three deep slate tile walls on each side, then a yellow concrete, then a black stained glass paint on each side, then another yellow concrete. Then we're through three deep slate tile walls again, then a yellow concrete. Then we're gonna do six black stone brick walls on each side. And then on those walls, we're gonna close six bamboo trap doors here. And repeat on this side close six bamboo trap doors on these walls. Then behind that, a yellow concrete on each side, then a black stained glass block, and then three deep slate tile walls on either side of the top. Then come down here and put two iron bars in a column here, and then two on this side right here. Now come on this back top corner, put a glow in a frame with a frog light here. Then down here, two bamboo buttons here, two here, one on the top middle, and then one on either side. Then we're gonna come up front, and on this side corner of the front, put a dark oak sign with 606. Hit it with white dye and a glow ink sack. Repeat on this side, so put a dark oak sign here with 606, and hit that with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then come on the middle of the nose, on the top middle, put a glow item frame. Then on the block down, put a warp sign here and here. Now, come into a loom with a yellow banner and black dye. Put a black border on it and a horizontal in the middle. Then do a white banner and red dye. Do these stripes and make the top half blue. Then we'll place these. So this yellow one is going to go on this item frame for the headlights. And the red, white, and blue one in the middle under it like that. Then we have more banners to make, so come into a loom with a yellow banner and red dye. We're gonna put a vertical on the left and the right and a horizontal on bottom. New banner. Vertical on the left and the right again and a diagonal. New banner. Vertical on the left and the right again, horizontal on top and bottom. New banner. Vertical in the middle. Go to yellow dye and put a yellow border around every single one of these letter banners. Then we're gonna come out on where this side door is, and we're gonna.
to put three iron bars on either side of this door here and here. And we need to do that on this side as well. So three here and three here. Then we're going to come over on this side and place our banner. So we're going to come one block over from these front iron bars. And we're going to use the banners right here one block over to spell the word union on bottom. Then we'll do the other side. On this side, we're going to come behind this middle door in the iron bars. Move one block over from it and we're going to put the word union right here one block over from these iron bars. Then we can clear some of these banners, but keep the letter I. Then we'll come back into our loom with a yellow banner and red die again. We're going to put a vertical on the left, top half red. New banner, vertical on the left and right, horizontal on the middle and the top. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on top and bottom. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on the middle and the top. Then go to yellow die and put a yellow border around all these banners. And then we can come and place these. So right here we're going to come right behind these iron bars on this side and put the word Pacific on bottom. Then we'll come over to this side. On this side we're going to come in front of these iron bars here and use our banners to put the word Pacific right here. And then we can get rid of all these banners and we have just a few more to make. So we're going to come back into a loom again with yellow banner and red dye. We're going to put the bottom half red, vertical on the left, horizontal on top. No banner. Vertical on the left and right, then a horizontal on the top and the bottom. Go to yellow dye and put a yellow border around each of these. And this will be for the number. So we're going to come on the side of the nose under here. And right here on the bottom, we're going to use our banners to put 606 right here. So the back of it is aligned with the stained glass block on top. Same thing here, align with the stained glass block and put 606 here. Now come up top with bamboo slabs. In front of this stair here, put a bamboo slab here. And bring it forward to the front of this stained glass block here. Then come across here with it, and then back down this side until you're aligned the same way right here. Then we're going to add a mangrove slab here and here, and on the next block forward, a mangrove plank in the middle here and here. Then in front of that, a yellow concrete on each side, mangrove plank in the middle, and fill to the front three wide with yellow concrete. Behind this, in this center hole, we're going to put a cyan terracotta and then go three wide with cyan terracotta behind that and bring it all the way across the top, three wide on the top middle here. And we're going to bring it right down to the very back. Then on this top outer edge, start here and do a full line of mangrove bottom slabs coming all the way across until it meets up right here. Same thing on this side, a full row of mangrove bottom slabs all the way across here as well. Bring it right down to the back here. Next, come on top of the back, two stone buttons on either side. Then, skip two blocks forward and a deep slate brick slab in the middle, skip two iron trap door. Then right here, a plus shape of deep slate brick slabs, knock out the middle, put in bedrock and a dead horn coral pin. Then skip one block forward, and a deep slate brick slab, skip forward, dark oak trap door, then knock out five in the middle and put in bedrock, five iron trap doors, dark oak trap door. Then on the front, two bamboo buttons on either top corner. Then on the next block behind it, we're gonna open a bamboo fence gate and a sideways one behind it. Now we'll do the interior, so come inside here with polish and a side block. Put three under the window, Behind it, move one block down and fill this whole floor three wide. And we're going to bring that back till it's one block behind the door. Then up here, a netherite in the middle with two levers. On here, a glow item frame with a compass. Turn around and put a stair here and here for seats. 
on this back middle, a column of two blast furnaces, and then a door on either side. The cap's done and will come in this engine compartment. Behind this, we're going to drop down on the bottom and start building this whole bottom three wide with polished andesite block and bringing it to the back. Back here, we're going to stop two blocks before the very end. And we're going to put three stairs right here. Then we'll come up here and put a stair in front of each door. In the middle here, we'll do a three by three of decorated pots. Then skip one block back, a column of three polished deep slate walls. Then two columns of three smooth stone blocks. Then one smooth stone in the middle and two brewing stands. Then three polished deep slate walls. Then two smooth stone, two decorated pots, two smooth stone. Up here, put a hopper here and here and a brewing stand in the middle. Behind this, we're gonna do eight sideways anvils on the center. Above it, eight netherite blocks. Then we're gonna come through on the side and put a dark oak button on every single netherite block here. Then repeat on this side, a button on each one over here. On top of this, another eight anvils. Then on the bottom middle here, two end rods sideways. Then a column of three smooth stone blocks. Then a column of three decorated pots. And now our interior is all completed here. And we can come back outside here. So there we have it folks. We've completed our Union Pacific Elko PA1 locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.